We're on lesson 16-1, which is classifying triangles. We've already done the beginning part in class, so let's head on over to our independent practice. So we're going to classify, or we're going to say what each triangle is by its side, and then by its angles. So remember by sides, we have these different items. We have scaling, which is when no sides are equal. We have isosceles, which means we have two sides that are equal. So I'm going to put 0, 2, and then we have our last one, which is equilateral. And that means all sides are equal. Next, we're going to classify it by its angles. So we have, like always, we have our obtuse. We have an acute, which is a small angle, and then we have a right angle. Okay, so let's get to it. So number seven, what is this first one? Well, I see there's a right angle, so I know it's a right angle, but it says I need to classify it by its sides first. So what do we have for its sides? Well, I notice none of them are the same distance or the same length, so that must mean it is a scalene triangle. For our next one, what do we have over here? Well, here, none of the sides are the same. So that means it's a scalene triangle. And I see its angle has one obtuse angle. So that means it is an obtuse triangle. If there's one obtuse angle, then it's an obtuse triangle. Over here for number nine, what do we see? We see two sides are the same because they have those two tick marks. So that means it is an isosceles. And, oops, Mr. really forgot that E, I see, because I was trying to squeeze them all in. So it's an isosceles, what kind? Right triangle, because it has this right angle. Heading on to our next one. Here, we have two sides that are the same. So again, that means it is an isosceles. And I notice there's no right angle and there's no obtuse angle, so that means it's an isosceles acute. What do we have next? Well, here we have three tick marks that are the same, so that means three sides are the same, which means it is an equilateral. And again, there's no acute, I'm sorry, there's no obtuse, there's no right angle, so that means it is an acute triangle. Our next one, we have two sides all the same because they have those two tick marks. So that means it is, again, an isosceles. And it is an acute. But let's look at it again. Because I see this one's less than 90, this one's less than 90. But now as I'm looking at this one, I'm not sure if it is less than 90. So I'm going to take a piece of paper and line up the corner and see if it's bigger or I'm going to take a protractor measure. And I'll notice when I take that piece of paper and measure it, I notice that, hey, it actually is bigger than a right. My piece of paper is right here. So I see this much space is extra. So that actually means it is an obtuse triangle. Heading to our next one, now we have a picture to go with it. So this is, a map, or this is the sail of a sailboat. So I see two sides are the same. So again, that means it's an isosceles. And I see it has that right angle, so it is an isosceles right triangle. My next one over here, no sides are the same. We don't have any of those tick marks. So that means it is a scalene. And when I take a piece of paper line up, I see that this is a right triangle. So it's a scalene right. My last one on this page, I see there's two tick marks, so that means that it is an isosceles, since two sides are the same. And what kind of triangle? Well, I see these are acute. This one looks like it might be a right angle, but I'm going to take a piece of paper again and just line it up. And I'll notice that, again, it's a little bit less, or a little bit bigger than a right angle. There's my right angle right there, and there's this much space. So that means it's an isosceles obtuse. Let's head to our next page now.
If the backyard shown at the right, so over here, is an equilateral triangle, what do you know? So here we have a mistake. If the backyard shown at the right is an equilateral triangle, this should be a comma, and then this obviously should be a lowercase. What do you know about the lengths of the other two sides? They're not labeled. Well, remember, equilateral triangle means that they're all the same. So if we know the length of one side, we know the length of the other sides. So remember, an equilateral triangle means they're all the same. So that means we know the length of this over here is the same, which would be 45. And we know the length of this would also be 45. And want that label of feet. So now, what do we have? An equilateral triangle has three sides. So this is what I'm going to write. An equilateral triangle has not just three sides, but has three equal sides. So if we know the length of one side is 45 feet, then all the sides are what? Well, that means all the sides are 45 feet. Let's go to number 17. A rabbit's field of vision is so wide that it can see predators that approach from behind, as crazy as that sounds. The diagram shows the field of vision of one rabbit. Classify the triangle by the size and length. So basically what it's saying is a rabbit can see all this. All this is both eyes and all this. So look at that. That's imagining a human being able to see behind their ears, which I can't do. So now it wants us to notice and then classify what is this triangle right here? Well, I see there's these two tick marks. So that means those two are what? They are the same. So the if two are the same, that means it's an isosceles. And now what do we notice about the angles? Well, that's an acute angle, that's an acute angle, and that's an acute angle. So it's an isosceles acute. Heading to number 18. Can obtuse triangle also be an equilateral triangle? Explain. So it's basically saying, can we have a triangle that has a big angle? as a bad triangle, so let me redraw mine. It's asking, can we have a big angle right up here that is also going to have all the sides that are the same length. Because remember, an equilateral triangle, they're all the same length, they're all the same angles. So my answer is no. And why is that? When I draw an obtuse angle with two equal sides, and I'm starting out with those two equal sides because I always need, for an equal triangle, I have to have all three. So I start out with drawing two equal sides and see if I can make that third side equal as well. So I draw an obtuse angle with two equal sides, or, uh, man, I can't draw and write today. When I draw an obtuse angle with two equal sides, or we could say with two equal rays, either one's fine. I cannot close the triangle, meaning I cannot complete that triangle. With a third side that is not the same length. So if I'm not sure about this, what I can do is grab a ruler, make an obtuse angle, and draw 
from that obtuse angle, make sure those two rays are the same length. And I'll notice, no matter what I do, so here's my obtuse angle. No matter how I try, I cannot make this bottom one, that angle across from that obtuse angle, I can't make it the same as these two sides that I started with. Grab a ruler and try it. You'll see it's the exact same. Number 19, Miss draws a triangle with one obtuse angle. What are all the possible ways to classify the triangle by its angle measures and side lengths? Explain. So what we can classify it as is we can classify it as a scalene obtuse. That could be one possibility. We could classify it as an isosceles obtuse. That could be a second possibility. And our last possibility is it could be an equilateral obtuse. But now we have to see if all of those options actually make sense. So the triangle has to have one obtuse length angle, but the side lengths are unknown. So here, we just talked about in question 18 that we cannot have an equilateral triangle with an obtuse angle. So we know that this one is going to be taken out because we just talked about over here we can't have an obtuse equilateral. But we did talk about how this one was a possibility which is an isosceles obtuse. And we saw in our previous example on the previous page that we can also have scalene obtuse. Remember, we can have one that has a big angle and then have no sides that are the same. So those are my two possibilities. So what I'm going to write for my explanation is number 18 showed that we cannot have an obtuse equilateral triangle. Now, for number 20, draw each triangle in its own correct angle classification. So, what we're going to do is I look at all these, I see there is a right angle. So for C, that's going to go in this spot. I'm going to cross it out. Here I see that right angle again for E, so that means E is going to have that classification of a right angle. Now I'm left with my others. Well B, I see all those are acute angles. It also looks like an equilateral to me. Same thing with F, that is an acute. Remember, if my pictures aren't perfect, that is okay. Here is my obtuse part in D. And then A, I'm not sure if this is a right triangle or an obtuse. So I'm going to get a piece of paper and measure this corner right here and see if it is a right triangle. And as I do that, I see that it is actually an obtuse angle. So it's going to go down in this spot. Good job, guys.